What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime, bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today I'm going to build the AG Genoise Custom Kit. Obviously this was the modified version of the Genoise, which uh, Wolf, Lieutenant Wolf, uh, was piloting. And I'm kind of disappointed. Not disappointed with the kit. The kit's fine, even though this is not a high-grade kit. Um, it's a regular, you know, regular AG kit. Should be easy to fix. I mean, build. Excuse me. I'm kind of disappointed that we only have seen this type of uh, suit for about what two episodes. Yet the 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 suit this kit was t completely hyped. I mean, of course we we have our our uh, GXS kit. I mean, uh, yeah, GXS kit, and uh, now the new uh, G Bouncer kit. But I, I felt like, wow, they, uh, why didn't they continued with this uh, mobile suit? Um, or why couldn't they, like, he, like Wolf made a um, a team of um, of his own group with the with the Wolf moniker and everyone dressed in white? As a matter of fact, why didn't I take the Geno Ace Two and turn it and paint it all white and give it a unique uh, uh, colors and stuff like that? I don't know, I'm overthinking it, but it, it's a shame that we don't we don't see any more of this. Um, it would have been nice if they made a Master Grade version of this, but I think popularity demands that if they if anybody wanted a Master Grade and kit from the age that was not an age two kit or an age three or an age one, most likely it will go to the Garfriend. And then most likely it will go with Geno Ace. I mean, uh, excuse me, GXS. So let's build this little guy. As always, this thing is very easy to remove since it's not taking up that much space. I mean, um,. That much plastic to hold these parts. Now, unlike the regular high grade kits, you can actually, this one you can actually snap off easily. And with a little bit of work, you can paint this and panel it. We're not going to do that on this one, we're just going to build it. For the month of April, obviously, we're going to be seeing a new line of kits. We're going to be seeing the Spallow, the, um, yeah, let me pull up, let me pull up a page here. Uh, maybe I should have gotten my tablet. Yeah, I'll let you guys know what's coming out for this month. Come on, load up. So, okay. So we're seeing a few um, age kits coming out. The Chardal, the Fossil. Surprisingly, we're now going to be seeing the age three. Wow! Uh, I thought you would you would think that Bendai would hold the reins on showing off the next um, next mobile suit at least for a month or two, but they're really going at it uh, showing this kit. There's a cool card. Get to the side. Um, yeah, it's a bit odd. Why something that would do that? 
But, uh, what are you going to say? Another kit that's coming out is the Adele uh, Diva Colors. I should get that one. That's a nice kit to build. That looks like a nice kit to build. Since we're in the month of April, I also need to prepare for another show. And if you guys need to know what other show that is, that is the New York City Comic Con show. I've been, uh, oh. Getting that. Need the instructions. Um, I've been tempted to doing something for Comic Con. Something um, ambitious. And I might as well say this because um, I've mentioned this to many people and I'm surprised that nobody uh, called me out on it. But I will shoot myself in the foot so everybody's aware. I was originally going to put uh, LEDs on... Oh, here it is. I was originally going to put LEDs on my full armored Gundam. Unicorn Gundam. Um, I was inspired by that. But for technical purposes I couldn't figure it out or I kind of screwed up many in specific areas. Um, I'm hoping to continue on thinking of putting LEDs on other kits. Um, I won't tell you which one it is. This will, it will ruin the surprise, but it's something that I will try to do in the future. Alright, so this one goes here, and then this one goes into the back. And uh, despite, also, a lot of Master Grade kits came out this uh, past two months. I didn't buy anything because um, I have so many kits here. So I, I need to relax just a tad. Again, I don't know when we'll be able to play a game using this, but uh, let's just put it there for now. Get it out of the way. Um, we have this one that goes here. I think. Yep. And where is the... Okay, there we go. So that part is done. This one taken care of. Yeah, this one taken care of. Shoulder armor. Oh yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Let's get this one on. I think that one of the most unique uh, features of the Geno Ace, uh, is, and this is one of my favorite, is of course the bayonet on the rifle. And even though this is very thin and very cheesy, um, regardless, I kind of like the concept. I'm surprised that not that many uh, model kits um, have that or other mobile suits in its class. Putting a bayonet on a uh, Mobile suit is not that easy. I mean, it's not that difficult. I'm sorry. Let me go for this. This. And we have... So let me put that here. And we have the... 
Ups. All right, and then we have the head. And there we have it. The Genoise Custom AG version is now complete. That's a nice little kit to build. Of course, can't beat the, G the uh, GXS, but it still looks cool for what it is. So, that's a fun kit to build. I hope you guys get your hands on it and um, just um, fool around with it. I mean, the one thing about these kits, even though they're cheap, they're good starters. And of course, if you want to test out on specific painting techniques on cheapy kits that you don't have to worry about, you know, damaging a high grade kit, you can start with this guy, these guys. Well, with that being said, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.